Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In this video, I'll be sharing an intricate display featuring the LEGO Old Fishing Store set 21310 integrated with Lighthouse Point set 31051. In a previous video, I shared my customizations and modifications to the Lighthouse Point and how I built it on top of a rocky mountain and showed how I detailed the water. But in this video, I will show you a display that consists of three base plates featuring both the lighthouse point and the old fishing store. I've created multiple scenes, bits of activity, and detailed the water all around. The additions of a jetty, fishing boats, an outhouse, and water tank. I'll go through all the modifications in detail and share with you the reasons behind the choices I made. This is an example how to integrate two different sets organically together into one seamless display or diorama. But you can also easily imagine that this is one section of a larger LEGO city. I will share different LEGO city techniques and strategies I use, including a new way of detailing water to make it even more realistic and rich in texture. And do stay to the end of the video because I'm celebrating my 100th video. I will be offering a promo discount on the digital copy of my book Bricks for Small Spaces for just 3 days. So this is a great way to get to check out my book as well as support this channel. But first, let's have a closer look at the display starting with the lighthouse. In the original mock for the lighthouse, I did not have that safety railing in front of the front door of the lighthouse. I've since added the railing, some chains to give a rusty look, as well as moved the telescope from the old fishing store to this lighthouse. After all, I think the lighthouse keeper will have a better use for it. The railing is very important because we don't want the lighthouse keeper to fall over the edge and down to the sharp rocks below. The lighthouse keeper is a retired captain, so like all sailors, is prone to drink. You might think I'm exaggerating, but there's a reason why we added in the railings, because unknowns to everyone, the previous lighthouse keeper went missing. You might be thinking, if that is the skeleton of the previous lighthouse keeper, how can his hair be still intact? Because that is a toupee, fake hair doesn't decompose so fast. Further down from the remains of the previous lighthouse keeper, we have a whale breaching the surface of the water trying to catch a fish. What makes this particular scene quite interesting is the water techniques I used. I used many different kinds of bricks and parts to create the illusion of the whale breaching the water and creating splashes and ripples in the water. The 1x2 trans blue tiles are supposed to represent the water in general. I also used a combination of transparent studs and trans blue tiles to create the rippling in the water and a sense of movement. The transparent round bricks and trans blue cones coupled with the curved tiles simulates the splashing of water as the whale breaches the surface. I used the same techniques of round studs and round tiles to enhance the effect of the water hitting the jetty and the land as you will see later. Just behind the whale, you can see a scuba diver who has just emerged from the surface totally oblivious of the giant mammal behind him. In this shot, you can also see a wide view of the water effect created by the different tiles and bricks. I am pretty happy with the end result as the water texture becomes very interesting. I added a lot of minifigs to create different scenes and activity throughout the old fishing store. There's a drunken sailor in front of the main door, and many different people fishing along the second deck of the store. Right at the top is the owner having a drink and talking to his parrot. What you may not know is that is not a real parrot, but the store owner doesn't know either because he's drunk, because he was a sailor. This must really be a great spot for fishing since everyone seems to be catching fish including this man who's wearing a chest protector to protect him from any attacking fish or crabs that might go for his body. The fishing store overlooks a pier where the fishermen hard at work unloading their catches for the day. This jetty joins to a smaller pier which connects the old fishing store to the lighthouse. And on this jetty, we have a fisherman who's bringing his haul into the old fishing store, but he's currently being stalked by a few cats. This little scene is humorous and fills up the space on the jetty in a logical way. On the other side of the fishing store, I have added an additional 16x32 base plate. I've built an additional jetty for a fishing boat which is currently being unloaded with lobsters. On the back of the base plate, I built an outhouse as well as a water tank. Both these objects were built to match the style and the feel of the old fishing store. 
Here's a look at the detailing of the ground of the back of the base plate. There are pebbles and stones laid down to the outhouse and past the water tank, but it is done in a very rough fashion and many of the stones have actually come loose. The terrain is also a bit overgrown but matches the overall environment of the old fishing stall. One thing I like to highlight is that I built the old fishing stall on a blue base plate instead of the tan base plate that it came with. This allowed me to build the old fishing stall directly onto the water. If you have the original set, you can also plate the tan base plate with blue tiles to simulate water. Another thing that I like to point out is the water treatment or detail that I did. If you look towards the left of the screen, you can see how I've built the water as it hits the jetty or the foot of the old fishing stall. The water hits pretty hard, which is why there's a combination of white, trans blue, transparent and blue tiles. This is to simulate the waves hitting the shoreline. However, if you notice the rocks behind the jetty which act as a breakwater, I have omitted the white plates to represent the water hitting the shoreline but with weaker force since it has been slowed down by the jetty in front. I also used a combination of trans blue 1x2 tiles and round tiles to blend in the water for this section. Let's now have a closer look at the outhouse that I designed which replicates the exterior of the old fishing store. The outhouse can be easily removed from the base plate because I mounted it on jumpers. First a shout out to Gabe Bricks who recently put out his mock for an outhouse. That inspired me to include my own mock in this display set. The finish and the design is modelled after the old fishing store, so it's all made of planks of different woods and as you can see, not all the planks are in line, some nails are missing and it is quite dilapidated. The misaligned planks are basically 1x4 tiles attached to the stud of a single modified brick. The back is covered with 1x6 tiles and mismatched in colour just to keep to the rundown nature of the outhouse. There's a tap on one side of the outhouse for washing hands as there's no sink inside and the roof has a slanted design with a deliberate gap on the sides and that's for ventilation. There's a solid door with a plank nailed across the open front in attempt to create more privacy and inside, oops, looks like someone's inside. Let's give him a minute. Great, you're done. And inside is a latrine style toilet, which means there's no flushing system. The toilet basically leads to a hole in the ground. Being the classy joint that it is, there is a roll of toilet paper for use. I hope you enjoyed this display mock and a look at how I integrated the lighthouse point and old fishing store together in one display. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like how the display flows? What do you think of the water treatment detail? And of course, most importantly, what do you think of the outhouse? As you know, toilets are the most important utility in any LEGO city. As mentioned at the start of the video, I'm running a very special promotion for just 3 days. It'll start from the time this video is released to 11.59pm on Thursday 28 June 2018 Pacific Standard Time. For these 3 days, the digital copy of my book Bricks for Small Places will be available at 50% off, that's $5. If you have found value in any of the videos I've shared or learned something that really helped you with your LEGO city, here's your chance to get a great deal on my book and at the same time show some love and support for this channel. If you like my approach to LEGO city building, my thinking and design philosophy, all this is expounded in my book in much greater detail and it is accompanied by almost 250 photos. You can make the purchase at smallbrickcity.com slash shop or follow the link in the description. Thanks in advance and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. In my next video, I'll be sharing a very special remake that I'm quite excited about. So please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on it. Before you leave, check out these two videos that you might have missed. Talk to you soon.